right guys, today is the beginning of October, I think it's October the 6th, and then I had a couple of days off, I kind of lost it, but yeah, it is October the 6th today, and last week I just went for a short spin, and after that next day I went hunting, I was supposed to create some footage from there, unfortunately I didn't, I had a company with me and I didn't want to play the cameraman, so I didn't do that, I'll, I'll film uh, my hunting experience maybe next time. As you see the weather is quickly changing here, this morning we're looking at 3 degrees Celsius, of course what's better, better to do on Saturday at home? then hop on the bike and go for a short ride and today the plan is to go to Powder Face Trail in Kalinaski's country up ahead of me in those mountains and for those that are not around from Alberta. So Powder Face Trail is quite popular trail here in Alberta. I'm trying to do this trail every year. That's my goal, at least to do it once a year if I have uh, nowhere better to ride. And I'm hoping to experience some of those uh, spectacular colors of fall that are not gonna last too long. Knowing this climate here, it will be basically a couple of weeks, the leaves will be gone and the fall is over. Next thing you see, is snow on the ground. So I'm trying to take the advantage today and uh, do this trail. I don't know how cold it's gonna be up there because if here is 3 degrees it will get warmer here later to plus 16 but that's later. Right now it's early in the morning. It is 9 o'clock. I was planning to leave earlier but it was even colder. Uh, I could see the frost on top of the roof of the garage so I figure I'll uh, chill out a bit at home uh, before I head out on the road uh, to gain at least those couple of degrees. I dressed warmer today. I have my uh, thicker sweater under my jacket, double socks. I'm not playing the game of freezing my ass. The powder trail is not really a difficult trail. It is a little bit rough at some times. Uh, it can get uh, a lot of washboard and all that, but nothing that is too difficult. And as well, as I mentioned in a few videos back, I am moving away from riding the extreme and uh, rocky terrain. I'm not up for that. I don't mind gravel uh, trails or clean trails uh, in a forest, but as soon as it gets rocky and harsh terrain, that's something that I will give up. So don't expect the, to see this anymore. It's not worth it for me to invest into the repairs of the bike. Even if you don't drop the bike, there's constantly something that happens and that has to be repaired after those uh, extreme rides. Therefore, I will stay in more civilized path and enjoy their actual ride instead of fighting with the extremes. Powder Face Trail is not a long trail. I think that whole thing is about 60, maybe 70 kilometers. It is a slow going, it depends how, many, how much traffic is going to be there today. That also, that's also a factor if there's a lot of vehicles or motorcycles. I doubt it because it's still early. Usually people will come out later on on it. That's why I like to go on my own and uh, beat the crowds in the morning. You know, there's not many probably bikes at this point that I will encounter. I'm just gonna chill and enjoy the ride. So right now, I don't think there's gonna be much of a short ride here and there in the afternoon, but nowhere that I would uh, want to go. I was planning to go to do one more trip for three days for the weekend with my friend Mariusz. Unfortunately, he backed out of it and uh, that didn't work out. The weather also was not on our side because uh, it started to rain that time that we had planned, which is, uh, I think that was like a couple of weeks ago that uh, the original plan was made. But at the same time, there, like I'm saying, there's not much riding left for us to do in Alberta, unless it's gonna be a nice winter and it's gonna wait with the snow and ice like we had a couple years ago that I was able to ride on December the 6th. 
and we dressed up as Santa Claus, a couple of us, and uh, we went for a ride here, basically, the same direction, except we didn't go to Powder Face, because, of course, in December, Powder Face already had snow, but we just went to Brack Creek, and we took it down to Diamond Valley, and uh, basically stopped for a coffee and beer, and went back home that way. So we had a lot of looks from the kids waving when we were dressed as uh, Santas. That video is somewhere on my playlist if you want to look at it. So we also managed to get into the Elbow Falls. We got all the looks uh, wearing the Santa hats and Santa uh, outfits. Today I'm also testing my new Action 5 Pro. I, uh, I sold one of my Insta360 cameras and now I have two Insta360s and uh, two DJI Action cameras. One of them is uh, Action 4 and this one is the new Action 5 Pro. Uh, there is uh, quite a few improvements. The reason why I went for those cameras now they seem to be much more reliable than Insta360 but there's one thing that uh, I have to admit even though I did purchase the Action 5 Pro that the colors on uh, Insta360 are in my opinion much more vibrant the colors are looking spectacular unless I'm still not tweaking that camera the way um, I would like to. We'll see, I made some tweaks uh, already with that after playing it for a couple days at home and while I, I went for a walk in my community I ran a couple tests so that should be improved I will see how those colors will look now but um, like the, the Insta360 colors are like almost not natural maybe that's why I like them because uh, I like colors that are really live and that uh, bring out the beautiful sceneries it's like especially when I was in Utah and now when we see the trees turning gold and we'll see how that's gonna look so basically what I'm filming, this is the camera that's facing on me, that's the Action 5 Pro. And on my helmet, the view, what you see, is um, DJI Action 4. Both great cameras and um, I like the idea of the Action uh, cameras, especially the Adventure Combo, that the batteries uh, they come in a nice case uh, and charger, so it's all in one. Where the Insta360, you have that uh, kind of external charger and uh, you have to keep the batteries in some kind of uh, storage pouch or whatever. Wow, check out that view up ahead. Now, that's, uh, that's what I'm looking for. The mountains are still not covered with the snow. For most part, there's a little bit on that side, but uh, that's beautiful. As the sun is gonna get higher, those colors, they will come more alive. Basically, going back to the cameras, uh, I will keep my Insta360 One RS. Uh, so I have the one with the one inch sensor that uh, there's no action camera that, uh, that will beat it at all uh, with the quality of the picture. That's the one that I'm recording usually the vlogging when I'm facing the camera on a selfie stick or filming around me. Um, that one in sensor, Leica, it's uh, basically that lens is made by Leica, which is uh, one of the major manufacturers uh, of lenses. And uh, it's got incredible footage. Uh, that's why I'm keeping my other two Insta360 One RS. And the other one, instead of switching the lenses, I use it with my 360 lens and I'm not uh, planning for now to get another separate 360 camera because at least I have the same batteries that go into my Insta360 and a similar type of batteries uh, that are going into my Action, uh, DJI Action Cam. The battery life on Action 5, it is much higher than Action 4. 
uh, they increased uh, they increased the capacity of the battery even though the size is the same to 1950 milliamp hours so that's uh, unheard of for the action camera to have so much uh, power so in theory they're claiming that this camera runtime should last about four hours which is probably not realistic but that's uh, they're claiming with the screen off perfect temperature which is uh, like I said uh, not something that most of us will be using because like today for example there's no chance it is cooler and uh, I do use screens uh, screens even though they do go off after a couple seconds I have it to set off to to turn off after I believe about five minutes no point to run the screen especially if it's in stationary position Yeah, check out how beautiful it is. How uh, the landscape is turning here into fall. Like we got this little bit of red and gold and those bright greens. So just approaching Brack Creek right now and uh, almost in Kananaski's country. So I'm actually pretty curious how is that footage from the Action 5 Pro going to look. This is the, actually the first biggest test of this camera and its performance. I am not going with the highest resolution. I'm still shooting in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Uh, not going into 4K. Maybe I'll switch it over once I get on the trail to 4K just to see the difference. But for now, I'm shooting at uh, 1080p. 30 frames per second yeah I, I think I will actually bump it up to a 4k once I get down to power face to see if though that's gonna be that much of a difference and it is cold I had to turn on the heated grips my fingers were getting cooler I do have a warmer gloves but uh, for now I think I'm good DJI Action 5 Pro another benefit on that camera here there's a little bit less light so they have uh, significantly improved the performance in the low light uh, it's, uh, it's got uh, probably the best ratings right now uh, out of the most new action cameras uh, that came out for low light performance so I didn't film it in the evening completely yet but I watched some footage on those cameras uh, performance at night in the cities and uh, it's kind of uh, actually it's kind of stunning that uh, the, the way they did that uh, even though they're using the same sensor but they electronically fix the grain and all that stuff so the footage looks so much nicer out of cameras with uh, without any tweaking really and there is a special quick menu with the night mode that you can select it so we don't need it at this point because it's not that dark uh, even here in, uh, in between the trees there's an option that you can switch it to complete uh, night uh, mode and that will apply in all the correct settings on the camera. Out of the box, you don't have to do any tweaking. Yesterday, it was uh, very windy and uh, I was hoping to go uh, actually on that ride yesterday, but it was so windy that I said, hell no, I'm not going. It wasn't cold, but the wind was actually quite nasty. My friends are heading out tomorrow on a ride and uh, tomorrow is a Sunday so I want to spend time actually with my family instead that's why I'm a loader today and uh, heading out on my own still to get the last bits of riding I 
believe there's quite a few people actually hunting. The parking lots are full. People are rising early to enjoy those beautiful last days before winter. And then yeah, right now it's probably the perfect time to go hiking. Uh, we gotta start hiking more too. Uh, we used to go pretty much uh, quite often. Awesome view. Perfect light conditions. Because we got the sun on the side, nicely lighting up the mountains here. As we are getting closer into the mountains, the last trees we will have with the leaves that actually give you those nice golden colors. This little bit more here on the left by the river but once we go higher into elevation it's gonna be mostly pine trees anyways wow this is like spectacular <laughs> 